So the first thing you want to do is cleanse your skin. I'm loving the Origins ginseng one with all the oils and the coffee bean. When my skin's clean, I love using a face mist to just kind of perk it up a little bit. The Body Shop Vitamin E one is amazing for adding a hit of moisture. Just kind of boosts your skin. You can set makeup with this too, but using it underneath really adds a dewiness. Then something that's really important for me and it should be important for you too is protecting your skin. I've been sent tons of facial SPFs to try out and this is by far my favorite so far. It smells like watermelon, it doesn't give me breakouts and it soaks into my skin really easily. It's from the brand Great Skin. I apply this liberally to protect my face. It's an SPF 30 so it does a great job and I'll focus it in around my birthmark on my neck. I know it's a bit grim guys but I really want to raise awareness about the soaring rates of skin cancer in young people. With great facial SPFs out there like this, you've no excuse. I'm quite enjoying the moisturizer from this range too. It feels so high end. It uses natural recognizable ingredients like honey bush tea, lavender oil, honeysuckle. And this brand was actually designed specifically for young teenage skin to help keep it clean and clear without harsh and artificial ingredients. I'll leave info on those below. So now that your skin is looked after, it's time to prime your skin and as I've said before recently, I love mixing a silicone based primer in with a bit of a facial oil or a serum and massaging that into my skin. It just gives a really nice base. It'll smooth out fine lines and it'll make your skin look nice and plump before you go in with like a foundation or BB cream. And for mine today, I'm choosing the new Vichy Taint Ideal Illuminating Foundation. And this has some added SPF as well, SPF 20. Evens out and corrects my skin, my pigmentation marks. And it lasts ages. It's supposed to last 14 hours, but it usually lasts me around eight to 10 hours. Vichy's products are so good for sensitive skin and I'm a massive fan of their brand totally agrees with my skin type and if you haven't tried them before definitely try and get some samples of their makeup products i put up a little review of this recently on my instagram so follow me on there if you don't already it applies really easily with the fingers but to blend it out i like using a damp makeup sponge it gives the dewiest look in my experience a step I can't miss when I want dewy looking skin is my Mary Luminizer Highlight from The Balm and this is my favourite highlighting powder of all time. I think I've mentioned this in like 20 billion videos but uh, it's just so good it can be used as a highlight shimmer on eyeshadow. It instantly makes you look more healthy and yeah, there's my uh, face, my reaction to having dewy skin. I hope you enjoyed this video and wouldn't say no to a thumbs up, not gonna lie. If you wanna see more, you can watch my full makeup routine here on the left. And on the right, I've linked a recent product empties video. So all the beauty products that I used up. Bye guys.